Now let's move on to the next part of our learning objective where we will try to solve equations involving logarithms. So these are the questions that we are going to discuss next. So I hope you can copy down the question first and we will discuss the solution together. So proceeding to our next part of this lecture, we have the third type of equations that we need to be able to solve and that is on solving equations involving logarithms. Okay, so log function now we are dealing with. Um, so we have this type of question. So let's say the first example we have log x base 5. This is what we call as base is equals to log 25 base x. So remember that as the same concept that we have solved uh, index equations, indices. So we try to solve by uh, comparing the same base, right? So if you still remember the first example that we have here, so we need to make sure that we have the same base on both sides of equation, the right, the left hand side and also right hand side. So we will use the same concept here. So what we are trying to do is we will try to make sure we have the same base of log for both sides of equation. Meaning, if we look at this one, this is in base 5, this is in base x. So we want to change it in one same base. So comparing an unknown x and a number 5, we would prefer to take the number 5 because we can compute that. We can find a value for that. For base x, this is the unknown that we need to find. This is the, the thing that we need to solve. So that's why we are trying to avoid to have x as our base here. Okay. So what we will do first is we will try to change this base. Okay. So this side, on the left hand side, we will still copy the same term. Okay. So this one, how to change the base is by using the properties of log which is log a to the power of b sorry log b base a okay so i'm log b base a here so we will take if we let's say we want to change this base into base c so we're gonna take log c okay divide by log c log base c and here on the so we'll put b over here and a will be down here so the easier way for you to remember this maybe you can say oh since a is down here at the bottom so when we put it in the change of base we will make sure that it is still on the bottom part as well okay so that is how we change our base so if we are trying to change the base of x into base 5 so what we're gonna have is put log here divided by another term of log and put our new base that is base 5 so the number that should be on top here is 25 and x will be the denominator okay so moving on after we have changed the base we will try to make sure that we will get an equation here so log 5 log x base 5 this one we can change it to in this form okay okay why we are trying to change it in this form is because we are trying to simplify this function okay so we are trying to simplify this uh, this part of equation so if we change 25 into 5 to the power of 2 5 squared and by the properties of log again that you have learned in high school you should know that log of a let's say base a here to the power of b is equals to we can take this power b to the front so that is actually log a base a like this and we know that log a base a is equals to 1 times 1 so this is actually if we have it like this 
log A base A to the power of B That is actually just the term B Okay So this is a side note That you need to check back the properties If you can't remember Okay And hence After that We can proceed this Equals to 2 So what do we need to do with this one? We are trying to avoid fraction Okay So we are always trying to simplify our function So we will take this and Multiply it to the other side So we're gonna have Log x base 5 squared Here And finally um, For us to Remove the square here We don't really want a square term here We do square uh, We square root on both sides Okay, so we raise both sides by power half. So 1 over 2, 2 power 1 over 2. And then we're going to have log x base 5 equals to square root of 2. And don't forget your plus and minus sign whenever we have a square root. Okay. So next part is... We want, to check, we want to find the value of x But how do you find the value of x? So we need to look at another properties of log So we need to recall that we have the properties of x is equals to If x is equal to log y base a And then y is going to be a to the power of x Right, so this is the properties that you need to know and you need to remember. So by using these properties, that's how we are going to solve this part. So x will be take a here. So a to the power of what on the right hand side. So we're gonna have 5 to the power of set 2 or and also, x is equal to 5 to the power of negative of set 2. That is our final answer for this question. So, two values of x. Therefore, x is equal to 5 to the power of set 2. Or, x is equal to 5 to the power of negative set 2. Right? So, that is the final answer. So now we have the next question in solving equations involving log. So this question we have a combination of different terms, not just single term in left hand side and right hand side. So the first term is log x base 4 plus log 4 base x equals to 2.5. This is a decimal number. So for a decimal number, we try to change that into fractions after this So that we can simplify our equation in order for us to solve for the value of x here Okay, and then notice that same as the previous example We have a base of an unknown here We have an unknown as, as our base So if possible we don't want to have unknown as our base because we want to find the value of this unknown x. Okay? So, try to change that. So, for this one, just copy down the first term. Remember how to change the base. So, we will try to take the base, if possible, the same as the other term in our equation. So, we already have base 4 here. So, we will change this term into base 4. So remember, we put log with the base here over with log with another base here, same base. And then the first one we put 4 and that is x here. So here, I told you that we want to change this into fractions. So this is a simple one. 2.5 is actually 5 over 2. So change that into fraction. Now, we are trying to solve this by using substitution so we have we have a log x base 4 in few terms here so we try to substitute this so let u is equals to log x base 4 so change all of the term that have log x base 4 into u so u 
plus so this is log 4 base 4 remember like we have before if it is the same number that is going to be 1 so if we have log a base a that is equals to 1 okay so we have it here so that is the value so this one is actually 1 over so we have substitute that so that will be u here equals to 5 over 2 same number okay so try to remove u on our denominator so multiply by u on all terms we are gonna have it like this 5 over 2u okay then the next step is removing 2 from here so we have 2u squared plus 1 sorry plus 2 here multiplied by 2 is equals to 5u so now we have it in the form of a um, quadratic so we arrange this 2u squared plus 2 minus 5u equals to 0 we have it in a quadratic form so we can simply solve the value so that is if you check with the calculator you're going to get it in these two factors equals to 0 okay u is equals to 1 over 2 or u is equals to 2 so we have this answer u is half and 2 for uh, solving u this is the value for our u remember that this is not our final answer not a final answer yet okay so how do we solve to find the, the final answer because the question needs ask us to find the value of x not u so that is why we need to solve back we need to check back into this substitution okay so we have log x base 4 is equal to 1 over 2 okay so for this side that is the first value and we have log x base 4 is equals to 2 that is the second value that we have so by using the properties that i show you just now so x is equals to 4 to the power of half okay so x is equals to 2 and for this one x is 4 to the power of 2 x is equal to 16 so these are the two values of x that we can find by solving our equation